when you first asked me out, uh-huh. do you think that I was above or below your league? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Men Explain. Today, oh boy, I'm an invested in this topic. We're talking about dating in or out of your league. Does that even exist? I've got two very special guests with me. It's already chaos the moment I stepped in. Say hi to Sean and Nadia. Hi. Oh. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I am Sean. And I'm Nadia and I'm the better half of Sadia. Why Thank would you, you even start off with that? <laughs> Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I was waiting to see that in person. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's part of the topic, Sean. You must get with it. Come on. <laughs> you're assuming you're already above my league. Yes, I'm oh, setting. Right I'm setting the, the, the stage first. Yeah. Wow. So we know where this convo flows. I didn't. I didn't put her on a pedestal. Uh. Oh. Hey. I mean, we've got time to unpack this. Okay, we've got time to really discuss, delve in, and yeah. get into the nitty gritty details. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so we're talking about dating leagues here today. I'm sure that this has come up before subconsciously. You yeah. know, sometimes we, we don't even realize it, right? When you talk amongst your friends, sometimes you go like, oh, no lah, he's so out, or she, you're so out of his league. Or like, uh, nah, he's way below your league. Have you guys ever heard of these phrases being thrown around? I feel like a guy have, has told me that before, like, no. oh, I like you, but I think you are out of my league. I'm just out like, Out of your league, like you're better. Yeah, then I'm just like, why do you even think that? That's so weird. Yeah. A, a girl has never said I'm out of a league before, by the way. Just, just <laughs> putting it out there. So, so I want to expand on that. Um, when this guy told you that, how yeah. did that make you feel? I just felt very weird because like we are like classmates yeah. back then, like way back. And I was like, uh, I, I mean, it makes me feel good, obviously. Like, I'm like, oh, oh, you think I'm great. But I just like, I don't want to feel that way even. Like, it's something that I want... I don't feel proud of because like we a, are it feels like a wall. Yeah. There's like a wall, right? Okay. Like why would you? Mm. I mean, it's weird that the guy said out up front said that, right? Would like, you ever say that, even if you felt that way? I mean, among guys, when you discuss, like yeah, we we, we discuss lah. Oh, so, okay, right? okay. But, I, I don't yeah, mind we, hearing we, we, we this. Yeah, but we were like, hey, you don't go for this girl, and then we we'll say like, don't lah, she she a bit too up there for you. We will say some things among ourselves, but it's a bit weird to tell the girl directly like. Oh, I okay. think you're above me. Eh? So I want to break it down. When you say, oh, she's way too ups for you or too atas or too whatever, however you phrase it, what is your definition of that? Is it looks? Is it intellect? Is it education? Is it what? Or is it a combination? Disclaimer here, um, looks are not the only thing. Of course. <laughs> but, but it's the first it's, thing? It's the first impression, right? <laughs> uh-huh, yeah. So sometimes if, let's say, we see someone that, that, that looks like an influencer or a model, immediately... Most guys will go like, you know what? Like, a lot of guys chasing her, she's cannot I can't I can't go for her, I don't want to Really? Yeah. Okay. So that is that is your immediate thought. That is what I hope most average guys feel that I feel as well. I hope I speak for the average Singaporeans out there. But what about like getting to know the person better? Like what if you really click intellectually and on a different level? Actually, Sean that- is very good at like getting girls. Like he knows oh. how to <laughs> No no no, <laughs> that's that's not, like, news. Knows- he knows okay. how to slip into that, like, slide into their DMs and like, like chat them up. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, yeah. but I would love to hear. Continue, continue. Yeah, share, share more about Please me sliding share, into your yeah. DMs. Oh, me? No, I'm talking about like, like stuff I've heard, you know, like in the past. Yeah. I'm like, I was like very like shook. I'm like, wow. A different Sean side. is good, man. Like, he's what brave. Is, what you, is an opening line, may I ask? Wow, I can, I can give you one that, that, that she hates a lot. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Oh, I okay. think I, I know this she already. She knows this already. So, uh, Sonia. Oh no, I'm scared. <laughs> you should be, you should be. <laughs> what, what is the, the number of love? The number of love? Uh, what's, what's, if love would have a number, right? What, what's the number of love? Well, you can't put a number to it. It's wow. infinite. Oh. That's a good answer, but oh. but I scientifically I have a correct answer for you. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. right, right. So the the number is actually five. Five? Yeah. Why? Because you show me number five. I'm scared. <laughs> 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 Do you know how many times has done that on me? Oh my god. So then Ooh. for you, Nadia, you know, um he's already shared yeah. what they talk about in their their men chats. <laughs> Yeah. So in girl chats, for example, girl you talk about chats. guys that you know you meet and like maybe potentially date and all. Has this ever come up and have you shared this with mm. your friends before? So like, I mean, I think 
wow, this is a bit tough. Because mm. maybe it may, might make me sound a bit elitist somehow. Okay, okay, you know, like, this, okay, this is the open and honest space. So get, get you can also tower. ask me yeah. about my thoughts. And okay. I'm sure that I'm going <laughs> to say some unsavory things. I don't know. So go ahead. <laughs> okay, why I think I might be a bit elitist yeah. is because I would want to find someone who's smarter than I am. Smarter than you? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Because I want to be inspired, you know. I want to be inspired by ah. whoever I'm with. Your, or like your, your look up level, to them. Your old level, how many, how many score? <laughs> you know, say now? Oh uh, Yeah, my, my 13. How much was yours? Nine. Uh. Oh! <laughs> okay. All right, single close, digits. Close. Yeah, so that's why I, I would like kind of look at the school sometimes. Oh, okay. Like ish, fish. Okay, kind of. I said kind of. What? But it's not the be all and all. It's a I subconscious thing, is it? Sometimes you just... Yeah, it's a subconscious thing. It's like... You know, because I know of some schools and I don't know of some schools. So if like, sometimes I don't hear of some schools, I'm like, oh, like, it just makes me look elitist, but actually, I'm I just not aware. Uh, sometimes. Okay, okay. I get yeah. what you mean. I get what every, you mean. But it's not the be all and all. Every school is a good school, eh? I know, I know. But is some it, it's schools I don't okay, know no. of. Yeah, yeah, that was more like the education. Yeah, side more of the education. Of I think also because we grew up in Singapore. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, always yeah. like, Fed into our brains, like to wow. no, you, you're not well alone because and everything. funny enough. On that note, since mm. since you mentioned it, um, one of my close friends, we were just having a chat, you know, um, typical girls chat, an average of six hours, and we <laughs> <laughs> and we were talking about this, and she brought up um this guy that she dated a couple of years back, and she said, you know, like I never realized this, I didn't actually know which school he came from because I never talked about it because yeah. he never brought it up. And he, she just found out recently that he actually didn't complete, um, I think he didn't go to JC or Poly or something like that. And to her, that made her feel quite shocked. Because I think in a society like Singapore, yeah. we're so used to, oh, you gotta, you gotta chill all the way, you, know, you gotta finish your diploma, yeah. you gotta get your degree. So to her, she's like, oh, I was shocked. But then, maybe that's why it explains that I couldn't get along with him to some extent. Because certain things that I wanted to talk about to him, he could never really like continue the conversation. So I was like, oh really? Like I didn't think I didn't think of that. Because I would not that is not the first question that comes to my mind. Like yeah. which school are you from? But they were together for years. She never like a year or so. Oh. I think it just mm. never came up for some reason. Like they just never talked about it. So let, let's say right you you were to let's say you're on the market now and yeah. then some yeah. guy hits you up but hey, I'm from I'm from Zhenhua Secondary School. Okay oh. what? Hey Zhenhua what's up? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's <laughs> like the most secondary. neighborhood school ever. <laughs> yeah. Then would you all automatically think ah, neighborhood school ah. Okay lah. You need to work harder to chase me. Not necessarily. No, no. yeah. It's um, not that way. I'm not from an elite school. I'm also just, you know, from a regular school. St. Anthony's, what's up? <laughs> and, and you know, the thing the thing about it is back then, I met all kinds of people, right? Like, you know, you meet people from boys' school, from mixed school, wherever. Yeah. And I think like everyone comes together in a setting like poly where you don't, you, you would have never thought you meet like, wow, such a wide variety mm. of people. And it, it strikes me that everyone is intellectual in their own way or, you know, they communicate yeah. in their own way. Yep, yep. Maybe it's just not what you're used to, Correct. but if you're a bit more open-minded, I yeah. think it's okay. Yeah, not nah, can you be more open-minded? No, okay. So that's what why I wanted to continue yes, with yes, and yes. say like, because of... Okay, so I mean, I talked to my girlfriends before about like, oh, like, or then they'll be like, where did he, where did he come from? Like, oh, what school and all. So when I, when I tell it to them and then they're like, huh? Mm. Like, really? Then I'm just like, huh? But it's okay. Like, mm. I'm Oof. okay with it. Mm. I'm just like saying like, this is what gets brought up sometimes. But it's not all the time. No, you're not yeah. wrong. Yeah, for sure. Especially in our country, I think. Shout out to Nadia's friends if you're what? watching this. <laughs> Don't be so judgy. Hey! Are they dating or single? Or? Um, dating. Dating. Yeah. Okay, okay. So aside from the education aspect, mm. I mean, there are other things that we look at. You know, for example, financial status, Correct. ambition, age... Um, do these things crop up as well? Like when you look at a potential partner? Not hasty when I say this, right? Mm. To me, mm. I'm okay with uh, if my partner earns more than me, right? Okay, and, okay. And like, I mean, in this day and age, yeah. well, it's, not, it's not the past anymore, right? I, I, so I, I, I told her, like, if my partner earns a lot, right, I'll mm. be the best stay-at-home dad for, for you, you know? I'm gonna, when you're home, I'm going to make sure the food is, food wow. is cold, the house is clean, everything. Hey, you just work, I earn the money, I, I do everything else. That's great. And why he says I hate it is because, like what I said, I like someone with ambition. I don't want someone who who desires to stay at home and... You're calling me lazy now. And we all make... I never say it. You say it yourself. So. 
<laughs> okay, so are you more of like a go-getter, career-driven? Yes, I, I feel I'm more of a go-getter. Yes. I'm more of a... I would say I'm more alpha than yeah. the usual girl. Mm. And that's why I feel I need someone more alpha than I am. Whoa. Yeah, okay. <laughs> which is... Who's going to out-alpha you? Okay. I am also not sure. <laughs> yeah. So don't you think sometimes you need a... Do you need a balance, you feel? Like, do you think... Yeah, you need a simp that? in your life though. <laughs> Actually, I am... Although I, I think I'm a bit more alpha... I'm very simp. Like, I am a simp. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I can be like the simp in the relationship. Relationship, okay. But I would really like someone who who is driven, yeah. who knows what they want, at least, yeah. you know? Like, you don't have to be like a CEO, you yeah. know? You just need to know what you want to do with your life. Yeah. And like, too lazy, like, nah, not for mm. me. Okay, can I ask you all both these questions? Yes, so, let's yes. say you're dating this guy, right? Yeah. So, this guy is just working at, let's say a random part-time job. Let's okay. uh, at retail. La. But okay. he says his dream is to one day make it big as a musician. He's working on it. Mm-hmm. But financially, mm. 8 50 an hour. But he's very driven. Would you all consider or at this stage? Nah? Actually, you're, you, you, interesting that you brought up at this stage. Because <laughs> I think a different phase yeah. calls for a different mindset. I think for me in this hit space right now, I, I do need someone to like match up to my current ambition and phase of life. And it, it, that's why it's always difficult for me to date people of the same age. I'm not saying that people of my age are not don't have it together. But I think in general, because guys enter the workforce a little later. So maybe they take some time as well. And it doesn't help that I entered the workforce super early. Like I entered when I was in school still. So technically, it seems like I have a lifetime of work experience. Yeah. But I was just working through my school days and then the early 20s and all that, right? So I think, unfortunately, in this phase of my life, I need to date someone who's a bit more stable. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's why my current partner is 14 years older than me. <laughs> okay, that is why I don't like dating apps. Mm. Because I don't like looking at it like it's a resume, you know? I've, okay, so I've never been on a dating app. Tell me why. It's, it's horrible because I feel like at the end of the day, I'm just swiping everyone away. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm such a horrible person. I'm just looking at everything at face value. I'm just seeing what job they have, what school they are in, like how old they are. They're doing the but, same to you, eh? Yeah, I know, but I don't like... It gets too technical, yeah, right? Like yes. you're just like, oh, okay, I'm just looking Correct. at your your CV or something. Yeah, and I don't like that that feeling. Yeah, so in the end, I just used it like twice and I'm like, bye. Because I, I just feel horrible. Like I'm judging based on their looks and like... Yeah. Just very superficial things. Yeah, but if I meet someone face to face, like organically, mm-hmm. I can even fall in love with someone who is like, like way younger than I am or like, you know, like um, not even financially stable as I am. Mm. Yeah, so that's why it's very different. I agree. Because when you look at the the stats mm. on, on a dating app, for example, you're already sieving out what Correct. you think you don't want. Correct. With, before you even get to know a person. Yeah, and of right. course, you just want the best, right? Yeah. So if you're searching, then I will search for the best. It's like normal, it's like jobs. Yeah. So, your, do the same. so your partner, let's say, is still studying poly, you go Niam Poly, pick him up, you okay? Uh? I'm okay. <laughs> you okay? Uh? If the chemistry, if I love him that much, I will just do it. Man. You go school, pick up your boyfriend. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my boyfriend used to pick me up from school. Uh. That's same. Different. That's <laughs> different. I mean, you know, like, it's just perception, right? Like yeah. society's perception. Like if you were, sidetracked a little, but if you were 30-year-old guy dating a 40-year-old woman, it's not so bad. But then suddenly if you're like a, 30-year-old woman dating a 20-year-old guy, then people are like, oh, okay, don't yeah, snatch yeah, her. Yeah, 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 right? yeah. It's yeah, just the stage weird. of life. Stage of life, exactly. Correct. Okay, maybe poly mm. a bit too extreme. Like, if you put it in uni, uni? it's like not so <laughs> bad. You know, like, it's getting out soon, no? It's true. Yeah. And I just uh, judged the NUS pageant. I'm saying, what's up? What is up? <laughs> Show me some videos later. <laughs> so, Sean, in a hypothetical situation, yeah. hypothetical, <laughs> okay, would you rather date up or date down? Wow. If the dating leaks do exist. So to me, I, I absolutely believe the dating leaks exist. Lah. Yeah. And to answer your question, right? Most guys, you know, guys will say, oh, you don't date up, right? But I think for me, in, in actuality, right? I won't have the confidence to date up. Eh. I don't think so. I, won't, <laughs> I, I feel don't like think you're eh. so confident in it. But I, yeah. I, I don't think I'll dare to, to even strike up a convo with a girl. Eh. You have. Do you feel, okay, this might be a bit of a personal question and I hope it's not too sensitive, but do you think you said that you are not confident enough? Yeah. 
Do you think that you mask that with like trying to be funny or like dropping one-liners or jokes? 100% all the time. Is it really? Okay. I wasn't sure that was like a sensitive question to ask. I mean, everyone's insecure to a certain extent, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And and one one thing that that my, my company always makes me feel insecure about is my height. Lah. So, um, hey! Oh. <laughs> no, but we always say that you're funny. And, you're <laughs> <laughs> and witty. Like. H- hence why I compensate. We can go short, short, okay. give us a witty line. Yeah. And he'll be like, okay, okay, Audrey. <laughs> but so for, <laughs> for me, right, like, yeah. if I see someone whom, whom I perceive as, as a bit lower, right, mm. I will have more confidence to, to approach and What talk. is a bit lower? Um, <sighs> <laughs> oh, oh no. what is a bit lower? <laughs> like, okay, let's say um, maybe someone socially is a bit more shy and, ah, and not... Okay. not that, that's a, the surf, my safest answer, I can yeah. tell you. Or maybe at a different stage of life, like maybe still figuring career out or I don't know because uh, you're yes. in a phase where you kind of figured it out but at my age if I date someone yeah. <laughs> who's still in, still in school is a bit questionable yeah I mean I still- hold on wait you are thir- you- 30 okay uh, when I was in uni I dated a 30 year old you were like 20, I was 20 something, 21 21 then I was 21 oh. See? Okay, okay, it's okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't come at me comment section I'm very scared of you guys sometimes I feel like if I'm uh, chasing someone who I perceive to be higher, right? I damn nervous. I'll, I'll overthink a lot of things like, okay, what well, well, guys are sending her home already? Then I don't drive. Then guys are buying her things. We didn't. I can't afford this kind of thing. Why? It's just the comparison. I only have my my personality to to win you over, like, But personality is the the most important. Yeah. yeah I mean, Honestly, I tell you, I would rather date a guy with good personality yeah. and character than a guy with a Lamborghini, like hundred percent. Correct. Do you know sometimes they put their them in front of their car? The they car. post in front of their car. I'm like. Such a huge turn off, oh, man. I'm no. like, hmm. But personality is not a... Is it a first impression thing to you guys? But our, our looks first and if he drives a car, you think, hmm, okay, this guy. No, okay. The funny thing is, actually, I'll tell you what happened when I first went out with my current partner, okay? So, firstly, I... Okay, I wasn't immediately like, oh, okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna date you or like... It wasn't immediate. We, we got to know each other like slowly. I was like, oh, I really like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a personality person. So I really like if you make me laugh or like we get along really well, we can banter and stuff, yeah. you know. Banter, am I on Love Island? What's going on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but the banter is important. Like fun banter. It is important. Yeah. yeah. You keep the conversation going. You can Correct. talk for hours. You can do all kinds of silly things together. Yeah. Then um, I didn't ask about his background or anything. Like I didn't know much about him at all. We went out on a date and we went for dinner. So we sat down, we ate, and then there's a valet service outside because it's like one of those parallel parking mm. areas with no parking space. So this like quite ratchet car rolls by that looks like it just got banged up <laughs> in an accident and they patched up the door yeah. with like something else, you know, like that kind of look. Oh my gosh. So and then we're sitting right the road, uh, near the roadside and he goes, oh, that's my car. And then I turned around, I was like, oh, I was like, it was so cute. And I was like, that's a cute car. And he goes, no, I'm kidding. That's not right. I'm just, I'm just oh. joking. Just testing you. Ha-ha. Oh. Wow. So I was like, oh, okay. Was that a test? I was like, did I pass? I don't know. <laughs> but that also shows that he is funny. So many exactly. Yeah. So I, so I did get a good like, laugh yeah. out of it. Because how he was dressed did not match that car at all. <laughs> and I thought it would be hilarious if that was actually his car. Yeah. And to me, that doesn't matter. Because my whole life, um, even like growing up with my family and stuff, is we've been driving like second-hand cars, like not branded cars. And I don't think that's, important. Yeah, I don't think it's important at all. So what made you agree to give him a chance or uh, go on a first date in the first place? Um, we we had so much laughter. We we had so much fun because anyway, this is a long story about how we met but we we just really got on very well. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let's, let's, let's try. But if he had complete stranger just flat out asked, hey, would you like to get dinner or sometime? Yeah. Probably not. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of more of the I need to get to know you a little bit first. Yeah. I don't know. Conversation is very important to me. So for you, Nadia, you were saying earlier, um, or or rather you haven't answered this, would you rather date up or down? Okay, so for me, I'd rather date up. Of course, la. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's quite obvious from what I've been saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's really that I want to be inspired. Yes. And yes. I want to really look up to someone. I want to improve as a person. Yeah. And I feel like I will only listen to a guy more if I really think highly of him. Wow. Yeah. So I cannot... Judging you right now. Hey, yeah. no, but it's true. I think there's no right or wrong in this sitch, yeah. right? There's no right or wrong. So have you ever dated someone that you felt didn't quite inspire you? I think the inspiration part is quite hard. But at least like for the people I've dated so far, 
I am comfortable with them. Mm. Yeah, like I like talking to them. Okay. Yeah, but <clears throat> that's why being inspired by someone maybe takes. It's a whole. It's a. It's a person that you can't really find. But I think in the slowly day to day things, then you can be inspired by them, in the future. I mean, of course, there are pros and cons of dating. Like what is perceived as a superior partner, right? Correct. And one of it you mentioned is admiration. Yeah. Um, you know, being mentally like stimulating as well for, I guess, the intellectual mm. part of things. But the cons, do you feel like there could be differing values in some way or you might knock kids a little bit? The partner that is not as, not at the same level might feel a bit of inequality. Do you guys feel like that might be the case? I think generally... For guys, they would rather be the superior or the more dominating partner mm. in a relationship. Mm. Yeah. I don't want to say for all guys, but it's Some. a bit about the ego. Yeah. Let me, okay, let me, <laughs> let me, let me explain. No, no, you need to try Let yeah, me explain. Please. So if I'm dating someone who, let's say looks wise, right, is way above me, right? Yeah. I insecure. Eh? Everywhere, everywhere I walk, right? Guys confirm I her up, look her up. Then I'll be like, Oh, like, what if guys but are sliding into the DMs and all? Confident like, wow, look, this girl who's This is my so, girl. Yeah. She chose she, me. Yeah, she chose me. Can, can break up on, you know, with someone else. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so you you tend to think that way. Yeah, I'm quite quite pessimistic now that I think about it. Oh, man. Okay. I wonder what kind of uh, trauma let you here, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, no. Wow. But, yeah, Lord, I or, or rather... Other than her looks. So, to me, oof. To me, personality, I, I believe in myself enough about personality. Yes. It's just that first uh, first impression. That's a bit harder for me, perhaps. Because uh, you've seen the way I dress at work. It's not the best. <laughs> that can be changed. I mean, that's, yeah, not, that can be changed. that's <laughs> not difficult. Okay, but because our workplace setting is more like a... Relaxed. More relaxed. Same. Like, yeah. So we don't do you dress how we wear when I go to the office. <laughs> like, anyway. I mean, like exercise clothes almost like every right. day. Yeah. yeah. So it's like shirt and shorts. Yeah, yeah, similar okay. to like that's, that's every a superficial thing can do, be changed. Do you put guys on the pedestals? What do you mean? In yeah, in what sense? Um, let's say in terms of like who's a good catch, is it? Yeah, then you're like ah, oh, he's so much better than me. I need to constantly do more. I I need to be the one that puts in more effort in the relationship or to chase. I think it depends from guy to guy. Okay, if I really like a guy, of course I'll put in more effort. Okay, but the chasing aspect of it. I usually go about uh, doing my own things day to day and then I will wait for someone to come to me instead. <laughs> so I try not to think too much about it and uh, maybe just to cite a few examples back then. Because, uh, and I was sharing this with my friends too, you know, we don't choose what kind of family we're born into or what um, socioeconomic status you are born into, right? So naturally, if you're born into like a higher SES, um, you might meet people of the same pedigree. I don't yeah. know if that's the right word to use. But for me, like I am not familiar with a lot of these, these people. Okay, I'm just a normal person, go to normal school. And then as I kind of went into the industry or even just like grew up and met more people through friends and all, this guy asked me out and uh, it's just this, I, I don't know who he is. Like he was just like, oh no, met him at a club. He just asked me out. I was like, okay. So I decided to go and then my friend was like, oh, who's this person that you met at, at Zook that um, asked you out? I said, oh, it's this guy. And she's like, oh my God, this guy is the son of like some, I don't know, billionaire, don't know what, yeah. like thing. Okay, yeah. some family, wow. some like Correct. big family, they own some big group and company and all that. And I was like, oh, I had no, I had no idea. He seemed like just a regular guy. But after she put that in my mind, and after I knew that he was from like a certain family, I started to like feel a little nervous because yeah. usually I don't really oh. care. And Correct. I'm comfortable and confident in like who I am and my family background. And yeah, we grew up in HDB flat, like I'm fine with it. But I started to feel subconscious like when he would drive his like fancy sports car to drop me off like at HDB flat. Like I'm wondering like, what is he thinking? Is he conscious that I stay not in a fancy house, like not in a GCB condo? So I was just like, you know what? I think I can't deal. And it just didn't really quite work out. Also, I was a bit young and I was just dating for fun. So oh. yeah, but yeah, I don't know. It kind of got into my head and I was also yeah. younger and more immature at that time. So, I think that's yeah. why I'd rather not know. That's why it's good to not know all these things. Mm. But so dating and, above leaks, sorry to interrupt you, but okay. it's, it's, it's absolutely, you believe it's a thing lah. Like, I believe it's a thing. Subconscious or not, I think it exists. 
Yeah. I think it's also when you like meet their family. Yeah. You subconsciously yes. like, okay, I have to sit like this. I have yes. to do they eat like this? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I had a, another ex that I seem like I dated a lot of people. <laughs> another ex that, um, whose whole family is like doctors. And they didn't approve of me because I was <gasps> studying media. What? Yeah. So that made me feel like a lower oh no. a lower rung. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though I don't think that is necessarily yeah. but I just felt like smaller suddenly. Yeah. They are, they are lost, I mean. I mean yeah, yeah lost. But it's okay. <laughs> So, so what do y'all think then? Like, like let's say uh, a couple is dating, right? And, and clearly one's way above the league. Girl, girl I, I leave it up to you. Yeah. How can that couple successfully make it work? Because so far, everything's about all not working, right? So I know of a couple yeah. and her mom didn't approve of their relationship because of their education level. Mm -hmm. So she's from like Hua Chong. Like, oh, elite like school. most elite okay. school ever. Yeah. yeah. She didn't want to listen to her mom. And I was like, oh, wow. Because like, you're yeah, really, really like smart and like maybe like intellectually he won't be on your level. But when I saw how they interact you and how it. loving he is mm. and how he's always thinking of her and that love that you see in the couple, I think like no matter the education level or whatever financial background or whatever, like I think all those things can be like thrown out the window. Mm. Like it's really personality and that, that loving heart yeah. Yeah. The heart is the most important. The guys, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's very important to find someone that makes you laugh and cares for you and loves you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do you agree? You were gonna chime in, sorry. Also ask whether the guy's a bum or not, but Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not he's not a bum. But yeah. he's not like a super like financially savvy, okay, I would okay, say. Okay. Yeah. Actually, likewise, I mean, just to draw reference to my own current uh relationship as well, um, he's very successful in finance, funny enough. And I'm so shit at finance. I just cannot. Creative people just count to paperwork <laughs> and like, I don't know, your accounts. Yeah. It's just a thing, okay? Um, he's also from like AC, you know, different background, different background. Grew up um, in a very nice neighborhood, total opposite, you know, of me. Not that my neighborhood wasn't nice. It was great. <laughs> it was great. But I think it's also about upbringing. Because he wasn't the typical kind of guy that I, I think in my mind, like, oh, AC, uh, yeah. Sixth Avenue, you know, that kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. You have the stereotype. Correct. But he busted that stereotype. He was like totally different. And Ooh. I really think that sometimes it comes down to also how the family taught their kids, mm. I guess, growing up, you know, um, how you should treat people, get to know people, yeah. that, uh, not judge people based on just face value. True, 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 true. true. Yeah. Wow. So actually, have you ever asked him when when he when you started dating, right? Mm. Did he think of you as as above his league or below? Good question. I've never actually asked. <gasps> if he thought I was above his league, he wouldn't ask me out, right? Or would he? Based on my logic, I, I, as, as a guy, I won't lie, but I don't know whether for him. Okay, you know what? Let me ask him now. That is a very <laughs> good question. Should I call him now and ask? him? <laughs> Oh my gosh, do it! Oh my god, okay. Yes. I don't know if you'll pick up, wow. you know. Okay, oh my gosh, please be free. It should okay, be lunchtime, be right? <laughs> is it? Okay, let, let's try, let's try. Wait, 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 wait. If you want to find out whether Sonia is above or below, right? Subscribe to find out now. Above <laughs> 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 or below? below. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh no. Come on, come on. Come on, hey. come on, come on. <laughs> okay, wow, that's ringing. Let me message him. <laughs> I'm not psycho. Um, oh, oh, no. oh, hey, are you free? I, uh, I'm having a lunch orientation meeting. Oh, okay. lunch or Okay, I, just I literally have one minute, just one minute of your time. Uh -huh. So the question is when you first asked me out, uh -huh. do you think that I was above or below your league? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Maybe slightly above. Oh! <laughs> Why? In what way? I mean, you are like a celebrity, right? And I'm uh, just a normal guy. Okay, but 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 background-wise, you know, you're more financially stable. You're more like experienced, right? Uh, so it was yeah. just because of that that you felt I was above your league. Uh, yeah, and you are, you know, pretty hot. <laughs> okay, by the way, there's like 20 people sitting in front of me and you're on speaker. Thanks for answering. Oh. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know in advance. Oh. 
Thank you, thank you. You always make our episode great. Thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, go back to your lunch. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dang, wow. Also now, thank you for asking that question. I never actually wow. asked him. So yeah, so there, there you go. Okay, okay. So even if you think that someone is above your league, you can still ask them out. Because their perspective might be otherwise, right? Yeah, yeah sometimes guys are like, just go for it. Like, I uh, one time, yeah, you know? Yeah, it doesn't time, work. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Like, at least I tried. You know, yeah, no regrets. You tried. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Do yeah, it. Rather regret trying than regret not trying. Right? Exactly, exactly, right? Yeah, we should end on that note. That's a wow. great thing to print on a t-shirt or something. <laughs> I think you, you learned more today. <laughs> yeah, we all actually. Like, hey, you too, you too. Okay, hopefully everyone learned a little bit more. Okay, so to end off, does being in the same league even matter at the end of the day? After all this discussion, does it even matter? N not after the phone call. I mean. <laughs> Thank you, Joris, for giving us the confidence. <laughs> for giving men the confidence. Yes. So now, Sean, you can go all out. Go all out. Just Yeah, just inspiration. He inspires me. Like how not expects guys to inspire her, right? <laughs> Okay la, yeah, I believe I believe it doesn't matter as much. A bit more now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a, bit more. a bit more. I think she's gotta get get your head out of it sometimes and not overthink it, maybe. So all the best. Let me know. Please, I would love I'm very invested. I wanna keep updated with your dating life or you know. I, I have one final question for you yes. before we, we end things. Oh no, is this another pickup oh. line? Do you, no, 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 it's not. Okay. Do you think Nadia is above or below my dating life? <gasps> Actually, I think I think that you are very compatible. Yeah, that's what that, a lot of people say. I think that you balance each other out. Yeah, and you obviously make her laugh. Oh no! Oh, no! I no. Know. <laughs> All right. Is it true? <laughs> does he make you laugh? He does sometimes, but I won't say he's very funny. <laughs> oh, wow! This he's funny. Hard to get. Hard to yeah. get. I, More <laughs> than every Singaporean. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not driven enough for you, lah. Yeah. <laughs> Just driving her crazy. That's yeah. it. That's the only way. <laughs> yes. Guys, thank you so much for being on this episode of Men Explain. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was very invested in the conversation. Ayo. And I'm invested in the story moving forward. Oh, oh. Keep me updated. It's not a story, it's real life. Yeah. In real life, exactly. <laughs> the story of life. We Let see your know. confidence. See what That's I right. So if you guys have any more questions or comments, just leave it down in the comment section below and they'll reply you. Yes, and like, share, and subscribe to it's clarity.co. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.